Okay, so you obviously want to reinforce the walls. This example on Bravo is just the most common one. So right here, I hear on the left, so I place on the left. You always need some good ears and a good headset to do this. After the first one, you get, take it off so it doesn't get destroyed. And here, I hear it in front of me, so either side is good. It will get destroyed anyway. So right here is another example. And do you see me making holes right here? That's because you can hear sound better actually if you make some holes on the soft floor and then reinforce it. Don't know how that works, don't ask me. And that's how it works and that's what you should be doing if you don't it, you will still be able to hear it but right here i hear on my right i get all of the x kairos off, the, off of the right side and right here i hear it land on the left side but also on the right side so i get the right side first and the left ones start burning right here and then i place one more on the left side i get the x kairos Take this one off so it does get destroyed by a Cali or something and the last ones get burned off of the right side. It is in basement on chalet because that's a more common one. So for the first example we need someone with nades and operators in year 8 season 1 when nades are Iana. There's actually only 4. Iana, Nook, Glass and Sledge. So pick one of these. Uh, I just like Iana so let's go Iana. But you want to spawn. If you're going Yana, you want to spawn cliffside. If you want to help your Harbinger, uh, deny the mana trigger. But important thing right here is before you throw the nade, you want to draw it out because ADS are pretty common on uh, on this drone hole right here. That's where the mana trigger is going to be, and he's going to be tricking right there. So you always want to draw out like this. Your drone will get destroyed pretty fast, but if you can just see if there's ADS right here, if there is, uh, what you're gonna do is throw one. There, there should be two. Normally there's two, or sometimes even only one. Uh, sometimes they're over here, but mostly here. But if there's two, or even also one, you don't want to miss your nades. What you want to do is, is your teammate that has flashes or something, for him to throw it in there to burn the ADS. So tell him, yo, throw through two flashes through the drone hole, they'll throw an aid. So, I mean, if they don't know what burning means, uh, just say that. And then when those go in, just cook the nade. The guy's dead, I can see. The better tricker is dead. But the only obstacle that can be there is the ADSs, and you can just burn them. If you're dual stacking, if you're dual stacking, it's pretty easy to do this. Next one is a solo queue one. So this example is going to be a solo queue one. Where you want to spawn is campfire or cliffside. Campfire is a better one, it's closer to the spot. And the opera you want to go is fuse. I'll show you in a second how this actually is a really, probably the safest one. Probably the safest con to active ban in any garage on Chile. You probably have seen this one before. Actually, the better spawn is cliffside, not bad. This side is closer. Uh, you want to go to the K9 balcony, which is right up there. If they have a ban, he's probably going to ban a trick. So you want to come up here. You want to drone a uh, mess out. So if there's someone there, you got to be a bit more careful and try to clear them out. Because you place your fuse uh, charge down. That's pretty loud. It's going to break the glass. He's going to hear you like immediately and you can't just wall bang you. So I pre-placed one drone right here and the other one right here. When you want to place your food shots, it's just in the middle at the highest point, like right here. The first one goes in. I'll do this slow, but you'll always just spam them. See? I want to just throw over there. Bandit's gonna be scared at this point. He's probably still gonna try and bandit trick. So that's why you wanna put one more right there. And now it gets opened at the right spot this time and the third one is gonna kill him like that you can obviously do one more and the bandit trick is probably dead and his uh, bandits are off of the wall next one is clubhouse this is a pretty common uh, side that you see a bandit trick around and I'll show you two examples for this one too. One is gonna be 
with Nate's again because Nate's are really powerful in this game. And the next one is going to be with Ash or Sophia. So, so this right here is going to be the Yana example. You want to spawn warehouse or construction? Construction is actually better. Wait, no, actually, what you want to spawn is warehouse, and this is going to be the example with Yana. Watch out for the spawn peaks and to show the default camps. You want to run over here to the stock door and you want to drone stock now. This can be a bit risky. Stock, you can see clear. Lounge clear. You want to see if garage is clear. If garage is clear, obviously there's probably going to be someone on the catwalk, but we don't care about that person. Also, drone out a uh, sword right here. And then move the camera around this area. And your second camp you can leave for the bar flank, just in case. Then we can walk in. Also keep checking your camps just in case. So where you wanna go is to this bar right here. That's where the wall is, that's where you wanna need. So just go like this. You'll learn it over time. But that's how pretty much how you do it. I kind of uh, threw it a bit short. I uh, cooked it for a bit, a, a bit too long. But pretty much that's the trick. You want to cook the nade and throw it at the floor. That's also really useful, pretty much on the whole map. Cause right here you can get a few, like there's a few spots where you can get free kills on like every map. If you want to show that and how to nade from below, how to cook nades. Uh, let me know down below. So right here is the example with Ash or Zofia. I'll just go Ash and I'll show it to you. I'm gonna spawn main entrance. Obviously watch out for the spawn peaks again. And where you wanna go is to the front door right here. Then you wanna draw now the same area pretty much. You wanna draw a bit more of the bar out. Like till there. And then throw in a bit of la launch and uh, swamp right here. And if this stuff is clear, pretty much good to go. I would ping, ping right this right here. After some time, you'll learn it, but it could be hard at the start. And then you break this and aim right there. So let's show it to you. This would get any better charge off of the wall and when you do this if he's better tricking again you can pretty much hit again and this will do some damage then if he still doesn't stop you have these vert holes you can use you can drone out and then oh, you can drone out and then just go underneath and kill the guy 